Hi, my name is Ricky Seiler with The Full Plate Diet, and today is Friday morning, and I want to show you another breakfast idea that we do here at the Seiler House. Um, actually, my daughter, Aubrey18, who's actually running the camera right now, is the one who makes waffles in our house, and we have waffles on Friday morning. Now, when you think about waffles, you know, a lot of people will eat waffles with waffle, butter, and syrup. And if you get a store-bought waffle, you might have perhaps one gram of fiber in a waffle. So if you look at that waffle and you add butter and syrup to it, you have basically one gram of fiber in the whole waffle because there's no fiber in butter or syrups. So I want to show you what we do here at the house that helps us to take a waffle and power it up and make it a great fiber rich meal. So first of all, we, we have our waffle. This is something that we do here at home. We just make it. It's basically an oat waffle. It has a lot of oats in it and basically it has about three grams of fiber. Now, the thing is, is that the nice thing about these waffles is that you can make a lot of them at one time. So these are extra waffles. These will be going into the freezer. So the next time we have waffles, we won't make them. We'll just pop them out of the freezer, heat them up, and we're ready to go. So they're very, very quick. Let me show you what we put on the waffles and to give, give you an idea of how we power this waffle up. So we have three grams of fiber on the waffle. We also use a peanut butter called Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter. We use this because of two reasons. One is because it has no hydrogenated oils and it doesn't have sugar. So we put, we'll put uh, two grams of fiber, I mean two, two tablespoons of peanut butter which has two grams of fiber. We also have a berry topping. This is a blackberry topping. Um, very delicious and it has about six grams of fiber. As you know, berries are really good when it comes to fiber and a lot of other good um, healthy things in berries. We also have um, fresh fruit. We put apples and bananas on our waffle. This is about a, one cup of uh, chopped fresh fruit, four grams of fiber. I'll also add some walnuts on top. This is about two tablespoons of walnuts, two grams of fiber there. And then I'm also going to have an orange on the side, and the orange has about three grams of fiber. So let me build this for you just real quick. First of all, we'll take our peanut butter and put it down on the base of the waffle. We put in about two tablespoons of peanut butter on the bottom, uh, just on the top of the waffle. It doesn't take a whole lot. You get about two grams of fiber from the peanut butter, all right? Then the next thing we'll do, let me get a spoon out here and fork, and we'll put the berry topping on. The berry topping is uh, about a half a cup here, and it is delicious. I'll tell you what, when you put this berry topping on, uh, you don't miss the syrup at all because it's nice and naturally sweet. Uh, we'll also put on the, uh, the fresh fruit, which in this case happens to be banana and apple, about four grams of fiber there. We'll add the walnuts, that's about two grams of fiber. And so as we're looking at this right here, we're looking at about 17 grams of fiber right there. I'm going to also include an orange with my breakfast and a little cup of milk. So in all, you got about 20 grams of fiber. Looks pretty good. All right, let's eat.